Hello everyone, my name is Norman and welcome back to this series on getting started with Java, JDBC and the Oracle database. In this episode, we will go over one of the powerful new features of the 23 AI release of the Oracle database. This feature is the JSON relational duality view. While JSON offers flexibility and relational data provides normalization and more, duality views provide the bridge between the two and the advantages of both without the negatives. As you may already know, the Oracle database is a converged database, which enables developers to work with multiple or mixed workloads, including graph, spatial, columnar, row data, vector, and JSON documents. This means that you can have a database that is flexible and capable of supporting and taking on a wide variety of use cases. This advantage could mean managing and maintaining a homogeneous or fewer set of database systems instead of varying resources for different workloads. With the release of the Oracle Database 23 AI, JSON relational duality views become available as one of the important features of this release. Duality views provide the ability to work with both relational and JSON documents at the same time. What this means is that you can use your current relational database tables and turn it into JSON structures and documents. With these duality views, you can interact with the JSON documents like they are views and use operations like select, insert, update, and delete. And they would reflect on the underlying tables. This also works the other way around. Updating the underlying tables will also reflect when you retrieve your JSON documents. The introduction of JSON relational duality views bring multiple advantages. For one, you can work with JSON and relational data at the same time. After all, it is the exact same data. You maintain these two ways to view and access your data. You also get the flexibility and data access benefits of JSON and the efficiency benefits of the relational data model. Next, you can leverage the benefits of normalizing your database tables, both existing and new. The relational data model provides consistency and no duplication of data. Therefore, duality views will have fully acid transactions across documents and tables. Duality views also allow you to tailor different JSON structures over the same tables without duplication, maintaining data integrity. This means you can get all the data you need for a single app tier object in one database operation. With the validity views, fully updatable JSON documents are also provided. Apps can read the document, make the necessary changes, and write the document back. This feature, in combination with the native JSON data type from the 21C release, can provide a good solution when agility and flexibility is a priority. Here we have three relational tables that we will use for this video's examples. Books, copies of books available, and a lookup table for their status. From those relational tables, we can create a relational duality view using the SQL here on the left. Book copy DV is a JSON document of each book and a list of copies available. Once created, you can interact with the duality view normally with select, insert, update statements as shown here on the right side of the slide. If we insert into the duality view book copy DV, like in the example, this will insert a new book into the table books and a new record of a copy into the table book copy. If we make an update and set copies to an empty array, this removes any associated record or copies from the table book copy. On the Java side of things, the Oracle JDBC also provides a set of APIs with the package Oracle SQL JSON to support JSON and the JSON data type in the Oracle database. This package contains classes and interfaces which enable you to do the following. In this video, we will generate read and modify JSON structures as well as store JSON into and retrieve them from the Oracle database. Now in your Java application, to create a JSON object value with Java, you can initialize an instance of Oracle JSON factory. With a factory variable, you can create objects in a race. In this case, we create an Oracle JSON object variable named movie. The rest should look familiar as Oracle JSON object extends maps, and we make use of its put and get methods here. Retrieving JSON data in the database can be done with the method getObject. This is available to the interface's result set and callable statement. Similar to plain JDBC, we get the column value from the result set by calling getObject. But as a second parameter, we add the Java data type Oracle JSON object for conversion. Similarly, like in plain Oracle JDBC, we use set object with the parameter Oracle type JSON to convert the object to the SQL JSON data type. This method is also available in multiple interfaces listed here. Meanwhile, other representations of JSON are also available, and these can be used with set object to send your JSON document to the database. All right, let's take a closer look with this demo. Here we have a Java application that demonstrates interacting with JSON in general. In this video, we will look at three examples, examples 7, 8, and 9, although the rest of the examples demonstrate a little more of the same on duality views. Looking at the code from the top, we initialize database config, which is our custom class for handling the setup of the database connection pooling using Oracle UCP and configuring the Oracle JDBC driver to connect to our 23 AI database. We also configure Oracle JSON factory 
factory here, which is thread safe. A single factory may serve an entire application in general, although it may also be beneficial to have multiple thread local instances if it is used across threads. We will comment out the first few examples here and focus only on the latter part of the code. Now, before we start running our examples, let's make sure we have the necessary tables in our database. You can find the extended sample SQL file here included with the code sample. Here we will just copy paste the statements to create our relational tables and the duality view. Back to our examples, the first example here, example 7, shows that JSON documents reflect what is inside our relational tables. This example inserts a new book into the relational table and book copies are added as a batch. Running retrieve books, which runs a select statement from the duality book copy DV, shows the records it recently inserted as a JSON document. This next example shows the opposite of example 7, where we build a new JSON representation of a book with an array of its copies and insert the JSON into the Duvalid Review Book Copy DV. This shows that the insert operation created new records into the underlying relational tables. In this final example, we create three Oracle JSON objects, copy A, copy B, and C. We insert a new book and copy A as a JSON using the JSON duality view. Once inserted, we retrieve the JSON document and create a JSON object from it. With this, we replace the entire array of copies of the book with a completely different set of records, or in this case, copy B and C. This example shows that this update operation, which replaces entire arrays, updates the underlying tables by removing copy A and adds B and C instead. All right, that's it. If you would like to learn more, you can find the link to the documentations here at the top. The link to the code sample used in this video is also available here. You can also learn more about the other examples from the demo from the link in the descriptions. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.